From the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. Love to see all this baseball and softball. Lace, do you think the weather's going to impact any of those games later this week? Well, that's the thing. This week, just off and on kind of rain and storm mm -hmm. chances. So it won't rain all day, but it doesn't take much to cause the fields to be too soggy. So we'll have to see. It's hard to get those games in sometimes late May, early June. It's our wettest time of the year, and we are seeing kind of things follow suit this year. We do have the visibility problems with the fog down to the south. Hannah's been pointing that out. But for folks traveling, basically running from Paul's Valley, Sulphur back over to Ada, just south of Seminole, that fog is settling on in and it may expand over the next couple of hours. We're also tracking rain in western Oklahoma. There's an area of low pressure right now over far southwest Kansas. See the spin there? And that's causing those showers to make their way off to the east northeast. We've had a couple thunderstorms in far southwest Oklahoma. We are dry here in OKC. There's some light to moderate rain in pockets in the northwest. New shower going up west of ceilings, kind of filling in from Woodward to Freedom to Arnett to Leedy, kind of anywhere from a trace maybe to a tenth of an inch or two. A little heavier rain now from Brinkman to Retrop. That's headed towards Hobart, moving through Altus, and there's new showers too back west of the Oklahoma border in Texas. Putting a track on the southwest ranks, that's what will eventually make its way up into central Oklahoma through midday. Moving up to Godibo by 656, Apache 827, Chickasha 941, and downtown Oklahoma City by about 11. If it holds together, it'll be spotty showers midday, early afternoon afternoon as it's rolling through. We're dry on a Lucky Star Skycam Network live from downtown. We're in the 50s. We're down to 51 in El Reno, 59 in Woodward, 56 in Ponca City, 54 in Ardmore. Light and variable winds, central eastern Oklahoma. That's where the fog is settling in and through sunrise could expand a little bit more than what we're seeing. By 9 o'clock, 61 degrees in the metro. By noon, 72. Still a chance for a spotty shower or two. That's why that chance is 10 to 20 percent later today temperatures into the 70s and 80s in the southwest after this rain moves out. 77 Enid, 77 degrees in Stillwater. So midday, early afternoon, there is that chance for spotty showers in central Oklahoma and we'll watch out west for isolated thunderstorms to try to develop. The better chance will be this evening for thunderstorms in far western Oklahoma, but it's not locked in. It's an isolated chance. We'll have to watch any storm that fires out here right along the border because it could produce some wind and hail. There's a very low tornado threat today, but up to golf ball size hail, 60 to 65 mile per hour winds between 4 and 10 p.m. And we'll watch for that. We'll have trackers bringing you updates in that zone if storms develop. Satellite and radar showing the unsettled pattern through the panhandle yesterday evening, and now we're getting that residual rain in the west this morning, and we're unsettled all the way back to along I-40. But as far as any major storm systems along the jet stream level, that's really not showing up. So we'll get these afternoon, evening storms. Sometimes we get these complexes that go through the overnight do pose a risk for severe weather and that's going to be possible tonight again tomorrow night and then just these off and on chances taking you through the work week and all the way into Memorial Day weekend. Now by Memorial Day weekend this storm is diving down to the southwest does ramp up what we call the southwesterly flow of the jet stream which sometimes can spark some more intense storms and we'll watch for that. Here's about four or five o'clock today some showers trying to make their way off towards the northeast. We'll watch for storms coming in from Kansas, also the Texas border. This may be a little overdone as far as coverage is concerned, but storm chances are possible this evening, and we'll have to see how much rain we have around tonight and tomorrow morning as this moves into central Oklahoma, chance of about 40% in OKC, with additional storms late tomorrow evening, likely well after dark, moving into southwestern Oklahoma, but storms down in this portion of the state will likely be severe tomorrow evening. So we'll get to that. Tonight, we're into the 60s. There's a chance for scattered showers, a few rumbles of thunder tonight and early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we're back into the 70s for your Tuesday. And then tomorrow evening, we will watch the west southwestern portions of the state for thunderstorms to take off. Those try to make it up towards central Oklahoma late tomorrow, but they should be weakening. The severe risk for golf ball size hail, 65 mile an hour winds, a very low tornado threat tomorrow evening. We'll monitor that. Then Wednesday, 78, slight change of rain. Scattered thunderstorm chances Thursday and Friday and most of your weekend dry. That rain chance right now in the slight category. Back to you guys.